The countdown is on for the world's biggest rocket called SLS for the Space Launch System. It's set to lift off on a journey around the moon. It will be loud and it will be large. The SLS is all new, sort of. You might recognize some of the parts. The main engines down below, they were used on space shuttle orbiters. Incredible legacy hardware. Yeah, through the first eight flight sets, it's all shuttle legacy hardware. The two white solid rocket boosters, they were used on shuttles too. But this version has an extra segment for more power. Just an incredible kind of past to the future connection. Um, as you said, the boosters are five segment boosters rather than four. So 25% more thrust than what we had in shuttle. So it should be an incredible ride when we get to uh, Artemis II for our crew. Each booster will produce more than three and a half million pounds of thrust. So just how much is that? Well, it's more than 14 747s at full takeoff power. Each of the four main engines can generate another 375,000 pounds of thrust. These here have, flown, have shuttle heritage actually have flown. We did upgrades on these uh, with new electronic boxes, uh, controllers, what we call them, uh, to work with this vehicle because the, you, you just couldn't buy or build the boxes that drove them anymore. <laughs> we had to make the box because those components didn't exist. But the, but the engines functionally, from the standpoint of the mechanics, basically the same. Turbo pumps and everything? Exactly. I mean, these are the same engines that flew on shuttle. The vintage hardware doesn't end at the rocket. The mobile launcher was built to accommodate the Ares rocket. The launcher ended up costing close to a billion dollars and made headlines because it had a little bit of a lean. The massive crawler transporter carried Saturn V rockets to the pad and space shuttles. We had to upgrade um, the uh, crawler, you know, do structural modifications to allow it to, um, to, uh, to meet those weight. loads. Yeah, and then uh, also we had to upgrade it, you know, kind of call it an upgrade to be able to handle those bigger loads, as well as there was a 20 year life program to extend it through, you know, to do modifications that help it, you know, make it through the life of the program. NASA is certainly under some pressure to get this right and get the vehicle off the ground. SLS is years behind schedule, billions of dollars over budget, and it's estimated each launch of the moon rocket will cost $4 billion. I look at all the, all the things that are in place because we, all the capabilities we've created as a, as a country and as an as international community by being able to do this, right, that skill set. Doesn't, wouldn't, it wouldn't be there if we didn't do this. I, can, I would say we can not afford not to do this. The only way to prove it's worth all that money is to fly. For My Radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.